Yeah, hello everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'll be walking us through on how to download and install uh, TeamViewer software on your Kali Linux operating system. So without wasting much time, uh, I'll just head over to my web browser. Uh, you can actually get it from if, if it's on your system, you can actually get it from a tax bar. But if you don't see it, Kalinus uh, uh, actually comes up. I mean, Firefox actually, the default browser for Kalinus, it, it comes pre installed in uh, the Kalinus operating system. So if, if you don't get it from the tax bar here, you just come over to the applications icon here and click on it. And you could you could see down here uh, at the other part of the screen, you could see the web browser here. So if you click if you click on the web browser, it will navigate you directly to your um, your uh, it's open up the Firefox browser for you. So I'll just go and select the, um, the Firefox from. Uh, my web browser for my text bar here. So I'll just click on it and uh, wait for it to open up. Yeah, so it opened up. So the, this is what you're just going to see once you open up the web browser of uh, Kalinux, which is the Firefox. So I'll just click on the add tab, add the new tab here, and then click on my search bar and type in uh, download. Debian or for Linux, whichever one you choose and hit enter. So yeah, uh, the first link you're just gonna see is uh, is going to be this is not actually this is an ad. Okay, you, you could see AD. Yeah, anytime you see AD, you know that uh, it's an ad attached to a link. So I'll just hover my mouse down and you can see this is the official link of the team viewer, uh, www.teamviewer.com HTTPS. So, uh, so you have to be careful when you have to watch out properly when downloading um, software or applications on the internet. So you don't download from a malicious site where viruses are attached. To, in order to uh, avoid uh, being affected, um, avoid your system from being uh, infected with um, viruses and malware. So um, uh, yeah, so the first link you're just gonna see is uh, the official official site. Google recommends that for us as the first top most links uh, link on the list. So. I'll just, uh, you could take a look at the description and down here you could see remote desktop for Linux. So um, we did install TeamViewer for Linux from teamviewer.com and select the version for appropriate, uh, version appropriate for your version of uh, Linux. So I'm just going to uh, click on this link here which is still on that teamviewer.com and uh, it will open up or it should open up a page for us where we we'll download uh, TeamViewer for our operating system. So you could see down here, the range of options for starting a Linux remote uh, desktop session. So I'll just screw my mouse down See if I can, if there's anything I can read, I'll read, but there's no, no much information for me. Then if I got what I wanted, I'll just click on download now. Yeah. So uh, it opens up uh, uh, another page for us, and then uh, you could see TeamViewer for Linux, which is um, our operating system, 
we got a little here, download for Linux, or maybe scroll down and uh, you could actually see uh, the operating systems down here uh, that are recommended. So you select the one that is uh, best suits you, uh, suits your operating system. So we can see for Ubuntu, we are not using Ubuntu, we're using Kali Nexo, which is Debian. So we're going to select the Debian package. Uh, our system architecture is actually uh, 64 bits. So we are going to select the 64 bits. So, so uh, I'll just click on that. I'll just click on that. Yeah. So it brings up a new window, prompts me to uh, actually select. So am I going with an iCloud manager? No, I just want to download or save the file. Uh, so this is going to download and save the file uh, to actually uh, probably my downloads fold, uh, folder. Yeah, so I'll click on, I'll select the save file and then click on OK. Not in order to avoid uh, complications. So you could see the download progress. I will just leave it about five, less than five seconds. Ah, yeah, so it's done. So I could uh, either minimize the browser or download it the Team Viewer. The next thing we're just going to do is uh, install um, this Team Viewer. So I can either open up the folder here containing the file which we downloaded or I could go directly to my downloads folder to check uh, it. I can click on this open folder. So let me let me minimize this. We're done with that. So it did open up uh, the folder containing uh, the the file. So I could actually go directly to my to my home. Sorry. And then select my download folder or click here. And there you have, you can see our download uh, file, which is present. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I either right click on, on, the, on the application, on this file, and then uh, click on open terminal here, which will prompt us to uh, would you open up uh, the terminal window where we could uh, actually configure or install the file? So I'll click on this here and then it opens up uh, the terminal. You could see um, the directory of the, of the file, which is uh, of the folder, which is download we are in the download it did open the directory where the file is which is the download folder well if i don't want to do that, do that i could just go directly uh, i could just go directly to the terminal so it opens up kali linux terminal for us and then i could let me zoom in a bit so you could see that properly. So I could actually type in ls to list the um, directories or the folders that are present in the system. So I could actually change directory to my downloads folder and hit enter. So on the, I've changed the directory folder to uh, to download, I'll change the directory to the download folder. So I can actually clear my screen up since we're in the download folder. That can actually say list, uh, list the ls uh, command actually means list the function or list the files that are present in the download folder. So I'll hit enter from my keyboard. You could see it actually listed. There's uh, actually one file in uh, the download folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install 
this uh, file or this uh, software which I downloaded. So the next thing I'm going to do is to type in a command, which is, which simply means sudo, sorry, sudo, I'm going to type in dpkg, which simply means depackage the file. Sudo is actually giving me the um, temporary uh, yeah, rights to actually, uh, install this uh is giving me the privilege the roots privilege to actually install this uh software so i'm uh, actually going to type in dpk sudo dpkg which is sudo give me the rights give me the uh right uh roots privilege to depackage this file and install i means to uh, minus i means to uh, install uh to install the the application or the file or the software which I downloaded. So I'm going to type in the name of my, sorry, the name of my file, which is same viewer. We could see the, you could see the name here. So you're just going to copy the name here and then type in the name exactly as it is. So, sorry, I'm typing 15 point two five point five underscore amd 64 dot step and then I actually hit what enter from my keyboard and then it's asking me for the studio uh password for Kali and by default it's Kali so I'll hit enter from my keyboard and there you have it. It started installation. So wait for a while for it to install. Yeah, so it's done uh, with installation. So what I'm just going to do is first to confirm that this actually installed, we'll just go over to where our applications are and then, sorry, and then type in on the search bar here, on this search bar, this search space here, and then type in Team Viewer. Okay, yeah, very good. So you could actually see the software. It came out, uh, TeamViewer software, which we downloaded and it was in successfully installed uh, uh, the application. So I'll just open it up and you could see this is uh, the TeamViewer application. I can accept the, uh, accept the, the license or, the agreements and then yeah so this is what this is how the application team viewer is oh so this is beautiful this is lovely this is how the application comes so um, basically this is what you just need to do to download on how to download and install team viewer um, software application on your Kali Linux operating system. Oh, I uh, just, this is what we did. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the video. If you enjoy watching, you can like my, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel for, and uh, hit uh, the notification bell icon for more updates and uh, more of my upcoming. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.